Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. A welcome to all of you this morning as we celebrate this sacrament of confirmation for these young people. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to be here with you. And uh, we're in a special way, we're, we're um, proud of and grateful to these uh, young people for their fidelity to the program over these last two years. Um, in difficult times, not just in, in our world, but in our church. And so as we begin our liturgy, uh, we are reminded of the challenge we receive at baptism to follow Christ and to be bearers of the good news of the resurrection. So we will use blessed water um, sprinkled on us, reminding us of the waters of baptism. Almighty ever-living God, who willed that through water, the fountain of life and source of purification, even souls should be cleansed and receive the gift of eternal life. Be pleased, we pray, to bless this water, by which we seek protection on this your day, O Lord. Renew the living spring of your grace within us and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills of spirit and body, and so approach you with hearts made clean and worthily receive your salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
May Almighty God bless us and in the waters of baptism bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in that same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians. Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ. Now you too, in him, have heard the message of the truth and the good news of your salvation and have believed it. And you too have been stamped with the seal of the Holy Spirit, of the promise, the pledge of our inheritance, which brings freedom for those whom God has taken for his own to make his glory praise. That will explain why I, having once heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and the love that you show towards all the saints, have never failed to remember you in my prayers and to thank God for you. The word of the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Lord God, how great you are. How many are your words, O Lord. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your end, they have their fill. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Send forth, Send forth your, your spirit, spirit, O Lord, Lord and, and renew the, the face of the earth. earth. You send forth your spirit. Oops, sorry. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said this thing to you while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Bishop Mark Trudeau. The parish communities of St. Catherine Labre, Nativity, and St. John Fisher wish to present to you its young men, women, and adult candidates who have prepared and are ready to receive the fullness of Christian initiation in the Sacrament of Confirmation. Each candidate has been well instructed and is accompanied by a sponsor. It is my privilege to present them to you at this time. I invite the candidates for confirmation to please stand. Thank you, Father Alfred, and, and congratulations again to these young people. Uh, you may be seated. In our gospel today, Jesus tells the apostles that he will send the Holy Spirit to them, but he calls the Holy Spirit the advocate, the advocate. And uh, you might, uh, in that word, you might hear the word vocate, uh, which we get vocal and vocalization uh, for. The word means to speak for someone, to stand up for, to, uh, uh, to stand up and to take a person's cause. And that's the uh, work of the Holy Spirit for us as a community and as individuals. The Spirit uh, stands up for us. But actually the Spirit stands up for us uh, through our own vocalization, our own words, our own actions. Um, in the sacrament of confirmation, the Spirit gives us the gifts that are part of the Spirit himself, uh, the gift of wisdom and knowledge, piety, of uh, right counsel, of courage, of fortitude, of piety and fear of the Lord. All these gifts that allow us to encounter the world around us and respond to it in love, in faith, and with a great hope that God will work through and with and in us to change the world so that the kingdom might unfold even now uh, while we are present. So, so that Holy Spirit that, that uh, Jesus promises it is a strength and power uh, that God gives to us God dwelling within us uh, to, to make present the will of God in our world. Uh, the word spirit itself, actually, we, um, you, you hear in that inspiration comes from the same root, uh, life, uh, health, and um, really holiness comes in the same, uh, the same sense of it. And we're called to be holy people. Uh, I, I think, though, a lot of times we have a trouble with, um, with that word being holy, being saints. 
a, a saint, it just means a holy person. Um, I think if I asked anybody here, so are, are, are you a saint? And, you know, probably most people would say, well, no, you know, I, I think my grandmother is, but I'm not quite there yet. And, and that's not right. Uh, we are saints. Each one of us is created holy. Um, as the Holy Spirit that dwells within us, uh, we are created holy and to be holy for the world. Um, the word holy itself means healthy, real, whole, uh, which means that an unholy person is sick, broken, um, not right. When we claim our holiness, when we uh, accept that the Spirit dwells within us, then we can change the world. When we deny it, then we can justify pretty much anything that happens. I uh, had the opportunity a couple weeks ago with uh, a number of the bishops of the United States to have a, a Zoom meeting with uh, the Archbishop of Kiev, Ukraine. And, uh, and he was sharing with us just some of the things that are going on, um, that, just the atrocities that are war. Um, it, it just incredible that stuff that you hear on the news is, doesn't even come close to um, what's happening to people. And, and when we look at things like war, you know, you think, well, yeah, war is a terrible thing and atrocities happen to, in war. But those atrocities are done a person to a person, uh, a person who does not accept their holiness. Uh, when we claim our holiness, uh, we cannot do things like uh, what is going on in Ukraine. But you don't have to go to Ukraine to see atrocities or to see the effect of sin, the effect of unholiness, the effect of um, illness of spirit and mind and body. Um, we see it all around us in our community, in our families, um, all over. When we claim our holiness, we can change. The people around us, our families, our community, and by extension, the entire world. This sacrament of confirmation, uh, we pray that the Spirit not just encourage you, but, uh, in, but to give you the strength to make those changes so that our world might become the holy place that God created it to be and that God's people might be the holy ones that he made. So each of us by baptism called to be holy. Uh, when you were baptized, you were to be confirmed. Your parents and, and godparents brought you to church and in your name made a profession of faith. Today we ask you to renew those promises in the sight of this church community. So I'd like to invite all of our candidates for confirmation to please stand. And to the following questions to respond, I do. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today through the sacrament of confirmation is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it, 
in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. My friends, all you who are present today, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. And I'd like to invite our priests to join me. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give to them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let's congratulate our newly confirmed. I invite you to please stand as we continue our prayer. Let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceed from his Holy Spirit, are one. For this his servants, whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, that planted in faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to the Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. For the parents and sponsors, that by word and example, they may continue to encourage those whom they have sponsored in faith to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis, our Pope, Archbishop Jose Gomez, Bishop Mark Trudeau, and all the bishops, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, the Church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love until the coming of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For the whole world, that all people who have one Maker and Father may acknowledge one another as brothers and sisters without discrimination of race or nation, and with sincere hearts seek the kingdom of God, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For vocations to the sacred priesthood and to the consecrated life, that the young people Christ is calling will hear his voice and will be given the grace to respond with courage and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and willed that through them and their successors, the same spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful. Listen favorably to our prayer and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. may be seated.
Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the proclaimed, the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore now, and for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, Bishop Mark, your present, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done on, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And I offer God out the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Lord our God, who have been pleased to nourish us with heavenly food, pour, we pray, the delights of your spirit into the recesses of our heart that what we have devoutly received in time we may possess as a gift for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Angela, are you coming down? Oh, <laughs> Irene's here. She's going to do it. But I first wanted to, you can't thank him enough, our beloved Bishop Mark Trudeau. And um, a little story right before Mass, I went and picked up some flowers for the luncheon table in the rectory. And the young lady helped me to the car with the flowers. And I said, these are for confirmation uh, lunch. And she said, is it Bishop Mark? He confirmed me <laughs> at St. Margaret Mary's. So she had a great happy memory of what God had done for her through his ministry. So I hope you have that same, I know you do, you have that wonderful memory. So thank you, Bishop Mark. Assisting Bishop Mark today was a Master of Ceremonies, Ms. Mary Ann Wynn. Thank you. <laughs> she, she can answer a lot of questions. <laughs> and I wanted to um, uh, just say, uh, I mentioned to our young people on Monday night how, how impressive you are um, in doing everything and uh, showing up and being desirous of receiving the promises of God, the Holy Spirit. And it's just an inspiration, and I know it's true of the other two parishes represented here today, Nativity and uh, St. John Fisher. I did not serve at St. John Fisher, but I was pastor at Nativity for 12 years, there 13 years, and I want to welcome Father Tron, the pastor here today accompanying his uh, young people, and uh, Father Antoine, who has served as a sponsor. He comes here all the way from Our Lady of Loretto downtown. So to them and um, our deacons, thank you. And you, re you remember what I always say, when I forget to thank someone, God gives you extra blessings. So it's a good thing that I have a bad memory. God bless you. But here's Irene, too. would like to thank Bishop Mark Trudeau in giving his time, energy, and prayers in helping us to be, to helping us to so wonderful celebration this Confirmation Mass for our young adults and adult confirmatory. Thank you so very much. Let's give him a hand. We would like to extend our abundant thanks to our very own Father Alfred Hernandez, our own, <laughs> and, all, and all our priests and deacons here at St. Catherine Labore and priests from Nativity who have supported the candidates throughout the year. Our most heartfelt thanks and appreciation to all the catechists and facilitators for all their hard work this past year. We will not have made it with all of your long hours of preparation and love that you poured forth to our candidates. Let's give a hand to our facilitator and catechists. And lastly, thank you to all our Ferris families for all your trust, prayers, and patience, and kindness, and in helping us conquer the challenges 
that would, we met over the past two years. Thank you. And Stephen, have a, uh, one more. And for our youth confirmatory, give them a round of applause. We wholeheartedly invite you to come back and support us by becoming a facilitator, a peer leader, a choir member, an usher, a lector, an alta server, or as a volunteer wherever there is need. And many needs there are. And here we have Stephen who will have a few words. So much to be thankful for, but on behalf of Nativity, I wanted to thank Father Alfred, as you said, our former pastor, and Father Tran, our present pastor, for being here, and of course, Bishop Mark, for his continued guidance and compassion. Thank you. But foremost, I want to mention the, the 12 candidates and their families who joined us during the pandemic and are here as survivors two years later. True warriors, true survivors, and one of them is actually a warrior. We have a Marine with us who is on leave today that received the Sacrament of Confirmation today. We have a few special um, families with us today, and one of them spent four years with his family coming once a week for four years to receive the first communion. And then here he is today receiving the gifts of the Holy Spirit from Bishop Mark in his seat. Amen. I wish to thank Angela, who is the DRE here, and Irene, who without hesitation when I, I reached out for a parish that would welcome our 12 candidates, said yes without hesitating. She was truly our angel and our example of what it means to be one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Thank you all so very much. God the Father Almighty bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit, and may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of Truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of all disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Is there a new announcement on pictures? A special reminder to our youth confirmandi, we'll be holding a meeting on Monday at 7 p.m. in the Ministry Center regarding details on becoming a facilitator, as Irene mentioned, or a peer leader. We ask that you please drop off your robes today at the north door of the Ministry Center across the parking lot, and the youth of St. Catherine Labore can also pick up certificates. Once again, our most sincere and prayerful congratulations to all the confirmandi. May the Holy Spirit bless you and watch over you. God bless everyone. At this point, we will ask the confirmandi from St. Catherine Labrade to come forward row by row so we can take the group picture with the bishop. Thank you all very much and have a beautiful and blessed day.
can start row by row at the front, coming up. Photographer, any special instructions? Let me check. So yes, if all the first um, from St. Catherine Labore, you'll just come up, we'll be taking a group picture, candidates only. We have first is from St. Catherine, then we'll have Nativity, and then St. John Fisher. <laughs> 